All right, YouTube, welcome back, YouTube. What we're gonna do is we're gonna tie a jig I've been having a lot of luck with. Um, orange and chartreuse. Not one that I really thought was gonna be that good. I tied a bunch of for some guys in Louisiana. Um, last week or week, two weeks ago was the first time I actually had a chance to use this color. You know, when they were telling me about it, the, I really liked the color combo. It, it looked good, but I never used it. Two weeks ago, I was catching doubles on this jig. I was, you know, an eighth ounce on the bottom, a sixteenth ounce, about a foot above that. I was nailing doubles with it. I was doing pretty good with it today also. Um, but I want to show you what I've been using. Maybe you've used this color a lot. Maybe not. Maybe it's something you haven't thought about. Uh, but it is a awesome color, and I love it. Also, something else I have switched to, Hairline Dubbins Hard as Whole Head Cement. The guys at the Plateau Fly Shop turned me on to this. It don't seem like it wants to cause that chemical reaction with your jig heads quite like the Sally Hansen's does. Uh, it's an awesome product. They got it at the Fly Shop, check them out. This is all you'll see at my fly time table from now on. Uh, I'll never do anything else with jigs without using this. I really, really like this. Good product. A little bit more than the Sally Hansen's, but it's definitely worth it when you're not going to get that weird discoloration on your jig heads like you do sometimes with the Sally Hansen's. And not all the colors done that with the Sally Hansen's. It seemed like white, red, um, chartreuse, and maybe maybe pink. I think pink might have done it also, but it's uh, definitely a lot better than the Sally Hansen's Hard as Nails. I really, really like using that. All right, so... We coat the shaft of our hook. I'm gonna use it the exact same way as I did with Sally Hansen's. So I coated the shaft of my hook with it. We're gonna give a good thread base. No, maybe. Yeah, here we go. I thought I had it wrapped up underneath out of there, but I didn't. Go back up. Eighth ounce jig hit. I got a little more room to play with, so I'm gonna give it a good heavy wrap right there to start with. We're gonna cut our excess off. And on this jig, we have stacked up four hackle feathers. I've got them staggered on top of each other. Chartreuse, orange, chartreuse, and orange. Uh, we are going to Using this new camera angle, I'm kind of having to reach around. It kind of makes it feel a little bit awkward. Start out with your loose thread wraps. And we lost one. Didn't get that one tied in. I knew I cut one chartreuse one a little bit short. But we're still going to work it in there amongst all the rest of them. Let's go back down a little more time just to make sure that one... Tied in the way we wanted it to. Work it back up. And we're gonna stop right there and we're gonna use some gold flash on this one. And this is the exact same jig I was using this morning. And they were biting good. I knew there were some storms coming in once the sky started turning black. Humidity picked up a little bit and Kind of lost my bite some. They went a little bit deeper and they were hitting on um, a jig that was a little bit smaller. They kind of went back down to a 32nd ounce jig. Seemed like it was producing better than the eighth ounce. But with the storm clouds rolling in, I decided to pack up and come home because I had a pretty big order of jig heads I needed to get painted up. And that's what we got so far. Really, really love this color. I didn't really think I would, but it is it is probably now my new favorite color. My, my all-time favorite was always the uh, red and chartreuse jawbreakers. But this one has definitely got the jawbreaker beat, as far as I'm concerned, it does right now. Two weeks ago, I thought maybe it was just a fluke. Maybe it was just one of those days where it didn't matter what you dropped on them. Uh, today was a little bit different. 
the storms rolling in, uh, humidity had picked up, and they were definitely finicky, but they weren't with this. Give that a good coating. Get our Chanel wrapped on there. Mix this baby up. Make sure when you get to that last one, get over on the other side of your, your thread. Pull it back over, get down tight. Give it a good wrap right there at the neck. Pull your snail back over. Another wrap, and I'll probably even do it one more time. Right there against that neck. Snug it down pretty good, then we're gonna cut that off. And we're gonna do a whip finish on it. I was gonna do a live video today. Uh, I got up pretty early this morning to go fishing. Painted jackets for quite a while. Ate dinner, fell asleep. So we're gonna do this one, put it on there. See how it turns out. Next week we should be back on our live feed. Uh, yesterday we did the live feed from Plateau Fly Shop. Really didn't know what to expect my first time down here doing that. Different location. Uh, there was people coming in asking questions. Didn't make for a very interesting live feed, I'm pretty sure. Um, but we're going to be doing it again. So if you've got ideas, hit me up. Hit Austin. Hit the guys at the shop up. Let them know what you think. Something you want to see. Coat it right there. And that should do it. But that right there has been my new favorite jig. Love that color combo. Love that gold flash in it. You probably ought to trim down some. That is an awesome jig. Worked really good. I had a lot of good luck with that the last couple weeks. A lot of my friends have had some good luck with it. Um, we're going to start working on getting the channel picked back up. I got my little river boat ready. Heading back out the river. Hopefully be able to do some um, videos out there. We'll be, uh, I got some shirts, decals. Um, hit me up. Let me know what you want to see. Check out my Facebook page, ericmasseyjigcompany.com. Share, like, subscribe, hit that bell. Let me know what you want to see. Comments, questions, anything. That is all I got tonight, guys. I'm out of here. Y'all have a good one. See you probably again this week sometime.